start. Good afternoon, especially to my subject teacher in English, Mr. Wildonis Go. By the way, I'm Reggie Ford Opialago from Computer Engineering, Section 1E. Today, I want to present my output about distribution of budget allocation according to spending priorities. This is my presenta presentation about the distribution of $500 million to be requested budget from different, different agencies. From a person's standpoint, I support this, bu this budget allocation because it will benefit our community and economy. First of my rank, first of my rank is build bridges connecting Mindanao and Visayas Island. I budgeted about 40% of $500 million, which is about $200 million. This type of project, project is, my, is high on my priority list since it will help our economy grow by connecting communities and facilitating the government of people and goods. To complete this project, we'll need a large budget to cover the pay of the workers as well as the tools and equipment required to build a bridge that can withstand the height uh, the weight of the people and vehicles who will cross it always keep in mind that the goal of our project is to provide everyone with safety and convenience second is to build more housing for the urban poor and i allocated 30 percent of 500 million dollars which is around 148 million dollars my next priority is to provide shelter for urban poor. Many many people are unaware of the importance of having a good, a good shelter. The disadvantage of being homeless is that they are vulnerable to abuse and violence as well as sickness. Especially this year because of a pandemic that is why we support, so we must prioritize them. After creating a bridge to improve our economy, the next step is to help people, especially those who are urban poor, by providing them with a shelter to start a new life and learn how to pro improve the, their situation. And it is bit better to help them because they are a big help and have made a big contribution to our country after recover, recover or improve their situation. And Third is pay loans to World Bank and I set a budget around 10% of $500 million and that is around $50 million. This allocation can help to minimize the debt that our country has. The World Bank can also help to reduce poverty by lending money to governments of its poorer members to improve their economies and standard of living of their people. The bank is also one of the world's largest research centers in de development. That's why we should pay debt so we can still take a loan when we need to lend money. And also to prevent bankruptcy that will happen if we don't pay a debt. That can bring our economy down. And fourth is expand for your scholar college scholarship for the less privileged youth and the and I decided to allocate the budget around 9% of $500 million. And it's around $45 million. We are, aware, we are aware of several universities that offer scholarships, but I believe that this should be expanded because many students are still unable to obtain scholarships. Even though we have outstanding marks, are kind, and wish to attend school and graduate in order to become professionals. Outstanding mark. Uh, my previous school's batchmate in Mindanao is an example. Many of them choose to discontinue their education in order to work because, because they do not receive scholarship or financial help from their parents. Fortunately for me, my younger sister heard about CITE or site offer and I was able to secure the spots. I'm delighted I was accepted and will be able to continue my education. 
Now, I hope to graduate and become one of the sci- site's successful students. This is a big allocated budget so many aspiring students can also get their opportunities. Opportunities. The target students who have a chance of getting these scholarships are based on their school record and the background status of their lives. Fifth is purchase training equipment and new uniforms for Philippine athlete, which is 5% of $500 million in, and it's about $25 million. We all also accept responsibility for supporting our athletes by supplying them with necessities such as equipment. We should encourage them because athletes represent our country and are a source of pride for us Filipinos. They will be ones to demonstrate what a Filipino is capable of. As Filipinos, their accomplishments are also our accomplishment. So let us show our support for our pride. And and six is purchase state of the art ship and equipment for the Philippine Coast Guard and I allocate budget of it is about four percent out of five million dollars that is twenty million dollars after budgeting our economy's improvement and preservation this budget is protecting our economy as we improve our economy we should know how to protect it. One way is to provide ships and equipment for our Coast Guard. The Coast Guard port safety and port security functions overlap into three roles. Maritime safety, maritime environmental protection, and national defense. Under the national defense rule, Coast Guard port safety and security units plan and coordinate emergency um coordinate emergency port preparedness functions with the de- de- with the dedication of coast guards protecting our country and our economy we should also provide them with what they need that can help them also last is improve facilities and purchase new equipment for government hospitals and i allocated 2% of 500 million million dollars and it is 12 million dollars this budget's purpose is to assist our government hospitals in improving and purchasing new equipment that they require. During the pandemics this year, we need the we needed a lot of facilities and equipment to heal a lot of people. And that's all. This is how I allocate the five hundred million dollars that been received from Malampaya Deep Water Gas. That's all and thank you, sir.